and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my recent reads. In this video I have five books to share that I have read in the past little bit and my thoughts on them and a general synopsis for you guys. I've also been doing a ton of reading vlogs so I'll have those linked down below where I do like you will see me reading these books and talking about them more in depth in those vlogs. Starting off here I have The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This is a companion to the novel Geekerella that came out last year or the year before. The story takes place in a convention center and it's all about this fandom called Starfield, which is kind of like a Star Wars, Star Trek kind of fandom thing. In, in this book, we follow two characters, Imogen and then Jessica. Imogen is a hardcore fangirl that does campaigning for the show and like tries to save a certain character and is just super, is the fangirl in this little thing. Jessica is the this girl who plays the princess in the TV show. She doesn't really care about her role much and Imogen is the one who is like campaigning to bring Amara back which is who Jessica plays. Afterwards it's come to their attention and everyone's attention that the manuscript for the next Starfield like episodes are leaking so Jessica has to deal with this and but she has other priorities like her panels and all that stuff that she has to attend at this convention center. Imogen and her meet up, they look very similar, so Imogen takes her place and they kind of swap lives, it's that whole swapping lives kind of thing, where Imogen becomes a famous person for a bit and Jessica gets a taste of what a kind of like normal life looks like. This was a really fun and enjoyable book. I still prefer Geekerella as opposed to this one. I just think Geekerella is a stronger read than to the first third of this book on audiobook and I really did not like the audiobook so I would not recommend it because that this made that made this extremely boring to me. So after I picked it up physically is when I really started to enjoy the book and appreciate it more. There is also a female female romance in here which I feel like not many people mentioned in their reviews so that was really nice to see as well. Overall I think this was an enjoyable read. It was nothing like too extraordinary or it's not anything too new but I do think this had some good messages about conventions and a bit about sexual harassment in relation to celebrities and how that happens at conventions and how celebrities do have to deal with that so it gives some insight to that. I overall give this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I think it is like a cute fun read so if you're looking for something cute and fun that has a fan fandom kind of element to it I think you'll enjoy this one but again I would read Geekerella before just because I think that's a stronger book as a whole. Next up here I have Look Both Ways by Jason Reynolds. I read Jason Reynolds book Long Way Down and absolutely loved it so when I saw this arc at BEA for a middle grade novel by him I was super excited to pick it up. This one comes out in October and it was unfortunately a big disappointment for me but this story is old as a tale told in 10 blocks. So it basically follows a bunch of middle schoolers who live on different streets and like their relationships with each other, their neighbors, their friends and that sort of thing. This does have some trigger warnings for things like homophobia so be aware of that. It was good that stuff like this was addressed in this book that is for middle grade audience. I think if it was longer it would have had been more impactful and when I say this is like a middle grade book I really mean it because a lot of the things were just like about like boogers and like all this stuff that is just really juvenile which I get the tar target audience so just thought I mentioned that. Overall this was like not fleshed out enough and it just didn't give us a chance to like it didn't give me a chance to connect with any of the characters or the plot or the story and there wasn't like a there was kind of a message actually at the end but it wasn't like a big overall like wham like book like it wasn't like you know damn. I just have read a lot of middle grade books that are that were more impactful than this one and that I just think are better to recommend but this one I still ended up giving a 2.5 out of 5 stars just because of the writing was still decent and I could appreciate the storyline and some of the messages in this book. Next one is one that you will not be getting a super in-depth synopsis from me because this is not really my forte and I learned this one for school. This one is Oedipus Rex. This is a play by Sophocles. Sophocles. I am probably saying that wrong. Many of you have taken psychology courses or just know about Freud. He had the Oedipus complex which is basically that a son wants to kill his dad to have sex with his mom. That's the whole, that's like, <laughs> that's the simple version of the complex. It's like the son feels threatened by the father, wants to eliminate him for the mom. That's the Oedipus complex. And then there's the lecture Electro Complex, which is like the female version of the Oedipus Complex. This story follows a king who finds himself in a really tragic position and realizes some things and I don't even know how to describe this properly, but I 
it was so good in my opinion. It was such an interesting play. It kept me engaged the whole time. It was pretty easy to understand in comparison to things like Shakespeare in my opinion. But yeah, this was super fun to study. I enjoyed the writing style and like it was a really weird but like a super interesting play to study. So I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Next I have two graphic novels for you. So these I've also talked about a ton but this is Little Witches. This is an arc that I got from BEA. So this one comes out at the end of August but this is basically Little Women, a retelling of Little Women but little witches. The story follows five girls who live with their parents and their father is like out and I believe he's at war. Um, yes. So this takes place during the time of the civil war and things like that. Of course it involves some witchcraft components and there's a little romance in here. So this is basically about people abusing magic, civil war, it talks a bit about abuse, abuse in schools. The pacing wasn't that great. I just didn't really enjoy that about it. If you're wondering about the art style, it was pretty, pretty cool. It was pretty decent. So it was like a decent art style and I felt like a lot of the characters just molded together. They all felt like the same person. I was like, what? So I just felt a big disconnect with this one. I did enjoy the romance and the art style, but yeah, I don't know how this would compare to, I haven't read Little Women, so I don't know how this compares as like a retelling. So if any of you have read this and Little Women, definitely let me know. Overall, I gave this three stars. It was just like, okay. Last but not least, I read Raven and this is by Cami Garcia. This is about a girl named Raven who is 17 years old and gets in a car accident. From the car accident, she loses her memory and has to move into a foster home where she is meeting new people, trying to learn about who she was or who she is in general, and also her experience going to a new school. I received this arc from a DC Inc event that I was invited to at BookCon, so thank you so much to them. This one I believe is already out now so you can probably already get your hands on it but this had a black purple and white gray kind of art style that i was obsessed with i love the art style in this the romance was really good as well in this and i just loved the overall concept of this graphic novel i think it was so like i think it was really well done like it was a big surprise to me how much i enjoyed this one and there's going to be a second book about beast boy i believe so i'm really excited to read the rest of this series the only reason why i adopted donna star was just due to the ending i just think it fell fell a little flat for me but overall this story was really good and i really liked the characters i gave this one a four out of five stars so there you guys have it. Those are some of the books that I read recently. Let me, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, what you've been reading recently. Let me know. Goodreads, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff is always linked in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. I also have a Patreon for those of you who are wondering where you can support me on another platform if you wish to do so. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye.